So everybody, myself included, is raving about the scales mode of Ableton Push. But if you've got a machine, there is a template that you can download from Native Instruments that becomes a controller for Ableton Live, and it works really, really well. The one disadvantage is the fact that you don't have as many pads to play notes, but you're still gonna get a lot of fun out of it. So I'm gonna show you how it works. I've got it set up at the moment. Page through different sections of the template, left and right here. And what you're looking for is the one that says here, page 05, pads and device. And this has got a scale button and then the bass note button. These are the two most important ones. And these work in conjunction with the knob over here. So I haven't found a way for it to display what the scale is. Um, so I've been doing it by ear. But the first thing that I need to do is to find my bass note. Now, musically, let's see what's going on here on the project. So I'm listening, I'm trying to recognize what's gonna be the main sort of dominant note in there. And I'm basically looking to make this first pad play the note that I want to be the root of the scale. And that's not sounding right to me. So I'm gonna to go to the bass note, take it up a couple. I think one more, no, one more. So that's the starting point, okay? If you're looking at the Moo keyboard on Ableton, that is C, D, E, so that's E, okay? So that's the bass note of my scale. So now I've got to find a scale that works. And I had a blues scale, so I'm gonna rotate here with the scale button held down. That doesn't sound right to me. So I'm just trying to find one. That sounds like the blues scale to me. All right, I'm gonna have a listen. I'm going to take the octave up. So you can see that you get the same amount of enjoyment in terms of being able to jam with this. Uh, also, another thing that I did forget to say is I'm on the pad mode here. So you can switch between pattern, scene, and pad mode. These relate to the various selections within Ableton Live. So yeah, we've only got 16 pads compared to 64, but you get a lot of fun out of it. That's for sure. You can practice little sections. Use the octave button and the rotation here to take yourself up an octave or down an octave. And you know, just try and do it by ear. This is the only thing that I can re recommend if you're not musically trained. Just try to find a scale that feels like it works. You're gonna have to do a little bit of trial and error, push the scale button, go up and down. There's a big selection of different scales there. But for me, that sounds like that blues scale that I was using before. Yeah, that works really nicely. So just gonna have a little jam again. So that's it. So once again, the Ableton template, and this is for Live 9. If you haven't got it, just go to your service center and download the latest one. There are some plenty of videos available online that show you what to do with the file, where to install it. Um, but once it's all set up, it gives you, you know, a, a portion, um, a quarter, in fact, I think it is, <laughs> of the possibility um, with the Ableton Push controller. Ableton Push is great for having all those extra pads, um, but you know, if you can't afford to invest it in Ableton Push as well as machine, if you've already got machine, you want that kind of vibe then get yourself onto that template. It's page five. It's using the scale and bass note and uh, have some fun with it.